Hi again, thanks uh, for returning. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me and putting up with uh, my ramblings and my ideas as I urge you to reflect on God's word. And uh, today we're looking at James chapter two still, uh, and we're moved, moving on to verses 10 and 11. Whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. For he who said you shall not commit adultery also said you shall not commit murder. If you do not commit adultery, but do commit murder, you have become a lawbreaker. Very harsh. I warned you at the beginning of the week that there are some really quite difficult uh, concepts and ideas that are being introduced in this section of James. But they're messages that we need to take to heart. Because if we are breaking God's law, if we're disobeying God's law in one respect, then we might as well um, scrap the whole thing. We can't just um, claim to be a law keeper if we keep um, laws one to five and uh, seven to, to 10, if we're forgetting or ignoring or breaking, uh, whichever one is left, number six, or whatever it is, do you know what I mean? We can't just be a little bit good or a little bit um, obedient. We are, in, we, we are either entirely obedient or we are not, we are disobedient. Even if it's in just one small way, and so what James is, is, is talking here about, even if we stumble at just one point, we're breaking the law. Now that doesn't mean to say, I think that we are doomed. We are destined to the fiery pit. What it does mean is that we're to put it right. If we recognize by, by God's Holy Spirit, we hear him saying that we, are, we have fallen short in any one respect, then we have the moment, we have the time to repent to return to him and to recommit ourselves to living better, the whole law. And, and let's be real with each other. There are times when we all struggle. There are times when we fall that little bit short. Well, we need to put that right uh, before the judgment of God falls upon us. But God in his grace and his mercy gives us opportunity to do that. So let's remember that um, what James is reminding us about here is, is, is our obedience to the whole law and not to just try and say, well, I'm nine tenths good, so surely that's good enough. It, there isn't a kind of 51% pass mark here. We're called to be, as disciples of Jesus, we're called to be 100% committed to him and to his teaching. It's a tough, tough bar, but we're called to do that and we're given the strength to do that through his power. Let me pray and ask Lord God that you help us. You help us when we fall short. You help us to come back into the, the, the heart of your embrace, uh, to plead for your forgiveness, to know your peace and to commit to, to doing it better, differently next time. Help us Lord, I pray by your goodness and mercy. Amen. Bless you. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. Take care.